What's going on everybody, it's Josh. Today is Wednesday, and I guess we can officially say that this is like the GameStop NECA Turtle release day. Officially, possibly, I don't know. I supposedly have a pre-order um, sitting at my local GameStop, because I think I ordered one online and I ordered one um, in store, or pre-ordered. So, they said that they're there, but I've heard a lot of bad experiences about them getting canceled or they're selling them to people pre-release date and they're selling people's pre-orders. I don't really know, but if you guys want these, if you have these, any good stories, any bad stories, let me know down in the comments below um, what your experience was. I personally am very happy that GameStop did this and NECA did this. I have the San Diego exclusive set, um, but I kind of want to keep those boxes just because I, I love the way that they display uh, in the packaging with that. And um, I don't know, I just, these turtles are freaking cool. And I feel like anything that they're making quarter scale, they're shrinking down to like, what is this, like a seven inch scale, I believe. Um, so there's not going to be much of a hunt. I will bring the camera in. Hopefully they sell them to me. Hopefully they have them. Um, and then I'll show you what they got. And then I'm going to go home because I'm on lunch right now after work. Uh, I'll open these up, show you guys as much as I can. I don't know if I want to show you one turtle, all of them, whatever. Um, do a, not a review, just showcase them to you guys so you guys can see them. Um, and then I'm actually going to be live streaming later, I think. So, with all that being said, let's go to GameStop and then um, fingers crossed. So, some unfortunate news. I did not record anything in GameStop because they did not have my pre-ordered set um, of the turtles that I thought I pre-ordered, but apparently it got canceled and I didn't realize it or I was unaware that they sent me the email uh, so unfortunately I, I only have one set um, before we even get started in this video I know there is a lot of I guess you could say drama that is circling around the turtles and NECA and GameStop and, and all that um, from what I know and what I've read on Twitter um, the official NECA account has said that they only ordered or they only made what GameStop ordered um, but then they are turning around and saying that they will be on shelves and not to feed into the scalpers or anything on the aftermarket because they will be on the pegs. Because as of right now, it looks like GameStop only has what they pre-ordered and some people, myself included, um, got pre-order uh, canceled. Duh. So, the thing that I've learned from this is pretty much if you want anything from GameStop, just pre-order it because I do not think you pay anything online. To, to hold your pre-order and then if you pre-order in store it's only like five dollars so to me that's very well worth it and i'm happy that i i did this because this is like the online bundle but before i even get started on the turtles i got a couple of other things in the mail today and the first one is from amazon and it is my kid krillin I'm very excited for this as you guys know in my last video i bought the uh, sun goku um, to pose up with him to have them fighting and then to go with the goro figure i got ermac and apparently the bloody editions are a big bad toy store exclusive which i did not know but i'm very happy to be getting these once again first um from what i can tell it's pretty much just the quarter scale packaging um shrunk which is obviously what the figure is so there's leo my favorite here's the back of the box we have the side we have that side i'm i'm keeping these boxes a lot of people ask me do you keep them? Do you throw them away? Um, for these, I will keep them. One thing I am curious about is to see if the joints are how they are on every other NECA figure, which is extremely tight. So they have one little zip or a twisty tie right here. So right out of the box, I can already tell joints are very, very stiff. So I am not going to force anything on this because I do with not knowing if we're gonna have access to more of these um, I definitely do not want to tempt it but here is Leo hopefully we can get this to focus there we go very cool the detail on these faces are insane so big big props to NECA for doing that um, he does come with well not he but all of them come with alternate hands come with a slice of pizza which actually is very cool I don't know if that will be able to okay yep, it will be able to focus a little slice of pizza and then obviously his weapons and then a uh, an alternate bandana which I believe is more of like a flowing 
bandana. Let me see if I can actually throw this in one. This is what I'll do on, on Leo. I'll kind of show you guys the, the bandana and I'll show you his weapons. And then on the other figures, I'll just show you the up close face sculpt um, and then their weapons. But I'm not, since they're pretty much all the same figure, just different colors. So there is the alternate uh, bandana. So I guess it's not really a flowing one. It's just kind of draped over the side versus uh, hanging. So I don't know if, if I have that on the right side or not. <sighs> but I'm sure people will let me know if it's on the wrong side. Here we go with his swords. Got hollow plastic. Which I enjoy that this is a little flimsy because at least they won't break if they fall. So the elbow joints are kind of scaring me on these. Like I told you about in the beginning. And plus with the um, with that elbow pad. I don't know if it's hindering the articulation or not, um, but I don't, I don't want to force anything on camera right now. I don't, I'll have to take some time and heat up these individually. Um, same with, yeah, same with the knee pads, but he has some good, decent articulation for that. I mean, you're really not going to have these in super crazy poses. So here we go with Mikey. There is his face sculpt. I, I don't know if it was him or just all the turtles in general. Some people were asking about uh, how the face sculpt or the eyes look because I, I believe on the San Diego set um, they were not looking good on some of them. So I think they look good. And here he has his uh, nunchucks, which I believe are on like some sort of like bendy wire, so you can kind of mold them or, or fix them how you want, which is pretty cool. At least they're not just like stuck in a certain position. So here's a quick little pose up of how he can be. I have a diorama that I actually had made um, for these, which I might show you guys at the end of the video. Overall, if you guys are still watching to this point in the video, let me know what you guys think about these turtles um, in the comments below. Good, bad, and different. Did you get them? Did you not get them? Um, I would just be curious to hear everyone's stories. Uh, personal opinion, don't buy third party, or don't, yeah, don't buy third party yet. Um, just wait for NECA and GameStop to come out with some more info because it's literally the first day um, I highly, highly doubt that something this anticipated, um, is that what I'm trying to say? Something this highly anticipated, okay, yeah, Karina's saying yes, she's my dictionary coach, or my record. Um, I, I doubt that a company like NECA and GameStop would just do like a one-run series on these, because these are obviously in demand, if you can't tell by social media right now, people were freaking out, which, I mean... I would be too. I'm just glad that I pre-ordered them because you just never know. Oh yeah, next, Donatello. So out of the package, once again, same pretty much sculpt besides the head and the colors. Eyes look eerie and they look great in my opinion. It it baffles me how these are at like a 20, 22 or $23 price point and they're this good. I mean, the only thing that I would quote unquote say as a negative would be the articulation, which I believe is, a, like I said, affected with these knee and elbow pads, but everything else is fantastic. So there he is holding the staff, looking good. I really want to play around with these guys a little more because I, I, I know you can get them in some cool poses, but just got to heat the joints up. It will be good. Overall, they're like a solid, like nine out of 10. I don't really think that there's much more they could have done to make them better. Um, they're just, well, they could have came with like Shredder and some foot soldiers. But I'm almost positive we will be seeing those either A, at Toy Fair, or B, at San Diego Comic-Con where they redo the same thing because we already know that we're getting a quarter scale Shredder and a quarter scale foot soldier. Look what happened with these. And I'm sure now that NECA has kind of figured out the licensing uh, quote-unquote loophole to where they can put these out in this uh, scale without it interfering with the uh, Playmates license. So I would pretty much that we'll see a Shredder and a Foot Soldier uh, three and three, or not three and three quarter, this seven inch scale very soon. Last, we have Raphael. Now, opening him up, for some reason I thought of something cool that would have been um, a good uh, addition to him because like I showed you guys earlier they all come with pizza slice I think it would have been cool if they would if they would have included a pizza slice with a hole in the middle so you could have it uh, on 
his uh, his weapon. So I don't know, just be kind of like a, a fun little characteristic thing, you know, because in the, the comics, TV shows, and all that, he was eating pizza off of uh, that quite often. So I don't know, something cool that I thought of. Might have been cool, but I'm sure you can make it somehow by drilling a hole in the pizza. But there we go. Face sculpt. Hopefully you can catch that. Once again, looks great. Joints are still stiff. Pretty much everything that I've said um, about them in general. So that is the turtle set. I am going to try to get this diorama out and show you guys what they look like there and what they all look like posed together. Whoa, that was... Twisted tie. What they all look like posed together. Because uh, with my new computer and everything, my desk is no longer big enough to handle this stuff. So, if I can do that real quick, I'll show you guys in a split second. Here are the turtles in my diorama scene. I'm going to try to pan back a little bit, give you guys a scale of how big the diorama is. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to plug who made this for me, who I commissioned it, um, because my experience is not very good with them. So, I do not want anyone else. Um, to fall down the same hole that I did. I mean, it looks great, but it's just not what I ordered. So, it is what it is. But here we go, all the turtles. I figure this is a better backdrop um, than just a, a black shelf or whatever. But I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty damn cool um, with the diorama as the backdrop. So, just a little diorama overview. I love these figures. I think I am going to keep them on the diorama and try to find some place for this to sit on my shelves because um, I don't think you guys have seen it. But let me get a couple of figures to show you a, a scale comparison real quick. Here is Leonardo compared to the Storm Collectibles Goro. By the way, this Goro is fantastic. And then here he is compared to the 10th anniversary uh, Iron Man. So, as you can see, Iron Man is just a little taller, I believe. Yeah, I got him as best as I could. I had him in a weird pose for a while, so some of the, like, this shoulder pad is stuck a little bit, but you can see there. So that is pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Obviously, that is going to do it for the video, guys. If you did enjoy this, leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Once again, down in the comments below, let me know what you thought about the turtles and let me know your experience on them because I'm very curious why I'm out of focus. Um, boom, maybe. There we go. But I'm very curious to see uh, how your guys' experience was. But, like I said, live stream tonight or this is after the live stream. Thank you for joining the live stream. Um, I'm going to get off here and get ready for this because... I need to figure out where to put this diorama because it has been sitting down there for like three months. It's supposed to fit up there, but it doesn't fit. Anyways, I love you guys so flipping much. Thank you for the support. I will see you guys on the next live stream and or video. And as always, may the figs be with you.